Hello there, Gemini. Welcome back for another video. I am Brown Eyes, and I really do appreciate you guys so, so much. To all of my new subscribers, thank you guys so much. Thank you for taking this spiritual journey with Brown Eyes. Uh, so this is another general reading for you, Gemini. So it may or may not resonate with you, so just take the part that fits and just discard the rest because that would mean that this is not the reading for you at this time. So what I've done, Gemini, is we're pulling the energy of your person here. Uh, how does your person view you, Gemini? So this is from your person's perspective of you. How do they view you? Good, bad, ugly, whatever. How do they feel about Gemini? So Gemini, um, I pulled from my love oracle uh, cards and... Um, I also pulled some cards from my regular right away deck to get more energy for your person's overall energy. Uh, but I'm only going to clarify this if I feel like I need to, because I feel like sometime when I clarify it, it, it changes, so to speak. And sometimes it's, it's sometimes it can actually be overkill. The cards can speak for themselves because the, the cards together together, excuse me, does indeed tell a story. You just have to have the the intuition to read it. So, but for you, Gemini, I have to say that this is an awesome, absolutely amazing energy for you, Gemini. So take this journey with me and bear with me as I explain it to you from my view. And it's so it's so beautiful. But Gemini, your person energy is coming up in the talking energy here. It says interested conversing more awaited message arrives text call email hovering so this person your person gemini um it's like they hold they're they're at your every beck and call is something about your energy that has this person in suspense until the next uh encounter with you I feel like, Gemini, you are really in your spiritual power now. Because, I mean, you have amazing cards. You have like three major arcanas here. And they're all spiritual cards. So I know that this is a spiritual uh, big big time for you now. This is, this is something that is life-changing spiritually for you and your person here. So I feel like your person, you you spiritually know how to engage with your person because your person needs that and I feel like you could not t you couldn't give this type of energy to just anyone it's specifically for your person here so your next card so you have talk and this is your overall energy but oh my gosh Gemini the, the card on the bottom of the deck remember your overall energy for your person is talking interested conversing more awaited message arrives text call email hovering so your person, you and your person, you know, you, you got this person here. Uh, it's something about how you talk to them, and I feel like it's spiritual. And the reason why it's spiritual, because the card underneath the bottom of the deck is soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. This is your person here, um, Gemini. But, but it's not just any person here, Gemini. This is your soulmate. But this is such an amazing time for you and your soulmate, Gemini, because your first card coming out is judgment here. This is a major arcana, and it's a strong spiritual um, sign here for you. I feel like, you know you know how sometimes you being connected in relationships when you feel a connection there, but you really don't know what it is until you really come, come into the real understanding that you have a soulmate, uh, then... You know, once you find that, then I feel like you're on that journey to find your soulmate. I feel like this judgment card is representing, this judgment card is representing you and your person knowing that you have found each other here. This happens to do with healing, uh, resurrection, rebirth, um, things going good for you. This, this, this right here is, is like, it's, it's like a rebirth here. But it's also, it's like divine timing here for you and your person here, Gemini. 
I feel like you and your person, the reason why it is divine timing at play here, and I feel like that timing is now, is that the universe has, has sound the alarm that Gemini has found Gemini soulmate and Gemini soulmate know that Gemini and soulmate are soulmates here. It's like you guys are looking at each other from your spirit to your person's spirit is the connection here. And I feel like this is why your person loves and, and waits on your every conversation here, Gemini, because your conversations are spiritual to your soulmate. They're uplifting to the, the spirit because you guys, you're connected. This is a contract that you signed up for before you decide to come here. And remember, everybody don't meet their soulmate and actually know it. This is a journey that most people take lifetimes. You have to go repeat things just to get it right or just to even meet your soulmate. But this is time. This is this is something that usually that, that doesn't happen often. This is for you because you and your person know it. You know, sometimes you know, it's like the feminine being relationships, but the feminine is going to always be connected with the spiritual connection within the relationship. But the masculine, you know, runs from it like the plague. But here in this connection, since the alarm has, the, the trumpet has been sounded, this divine time in here, you both are aware of it because you have found each other. So now you're living off of this spiritual connection between the two of you. Your person, your soulmate, Gemini, is not denying this connection. Your person know you, their, their soulmate. That's what I'm saying. You guys are sharing this soulmate connection in this, in this rarest, purest spiritual form here. Now, underneath the judgment card, Gemini, you have the Knight of Wands here. That's fire energy. That's Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries here. But see, your spiritual connection, and it's such a divine timing for you guys. It's like that now that you guys see spirit to spirit in each other now, now your person wants to rush in. Your person is, is creative. Your person is coming in spirit to you. Your person is ready to move forward this relationship, not just be not just know we're soulmates, but to live as soulmates. This is what your person is trying to come to you in. This is because this is this is what this connection, this judgment has opened for you too. It has opened the door because once you realize that you are each other's soulmate here, it's it was divine time and the creator set it up this way. Now your person wants to take action towards this, this connection here because your person is aware of it. Your person ain't running from this connection and that's amazing. Now next to your judgment card, you have the eight of pentacles here. This is earth energy, Gemini. This is uh Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn here. Now, this is you, Gemini, working on your crafts because whatever you are doing spiritually, it is really whatever you were doing spiritually. This is what brought you this connection in such a way that it did. Now, this was not an easy journey to get to because you got a lot of spiritual cards here. So, you know, and they're major arcana. So by this eight of pentacles here, you really had to put in the work and really learn your crafts and, and, and put in the work to master this, to master your energy to the point where it can manifest something. You manifested your soulmate and your soulmate manifested you and you working on your crafts, which is spiritual. Whatever you're working on or whatever you had to work on, uh, Gemini, keep in mind that whatever it is, it can yield, yield ye, you a nice financial increase as well. So if you're working, some of you Geminis could be working on some things spiritually. It could be uh, crystals, uh, tarot cards, anything that's spiritually related to that. You can make a lot of money in that. I see that this is one of your callings too. Whatever this soulmate connection is, Gemini, it has opened the doors for other areas in your life is what I'm saying. This connection. That's why your person wants to come on and take action and move this relationship forward because there is abundance here. You guys know who you are to each other. You don't have to look around. You don't have to go nowhere. Now, check this out, Gemini. The card underneath this ace, eight of pentacles is the ace of swords. Your person has truth and clarity, <laughs> Gemini. Your person has truth and clarity. You see that? This is why your person wants to rush in because your person know who you are to them. 
It is like a, it's like the aha moment. It's like something went off. It's like the bell, the trumpet was was sound. Something went off exactly the same time with you guys spiritually. Your person is not in denial. Your person know who you are to them, Gemini. Your person has truth and clarity. Now you guys can have a brand new beginning, and your person might even want to put a baby in you, Gemini. Now next to your Eight of Pentacles, Gemini. You have temperance here. This is Sagittarius. This is another spiritual card. See, that's why it's another major arcana and another spiritual card. This is healing. This is hope. This is renewal here. This is balance. This is patience. This, See, patience is because divine timing was at play here. But this healing and this nurturing, this is uh, you and your person pouring in each up, uh, pouring into each other's cup here because remember you guys are soulmate everything you do from now on is going to be on the spiritual level here so you know th there's no sneakiness there's no uh hurtful intention there's no deceit this is all taken from you see it's like you guys are actually living as if you have a contract in this soulmate energy here and it's amazing because now you guys are are like you you're living together in, in this spiritual world, like you're in a spiritual bubble with your soulmate is what I see. <laughs> now, underneath your temperance card, Jim, now we got the moon. So you got the moon, which is a major arcana. You got the temperance, which is a major arcana. You got judgment, which is a major arcana. You got the ace of swords. You got a hell of an energy. The knight of wands is full of creativity, passion, taking action, moving forward. Eight of pentacles, that means whatever you're working on will yield you an increase within this the soulmate um, relationship. You guys will, will prosper in this. Now, this moon represents that. This moon does not necessarily mean that you're trying to be deceitful and keep secrets. This moon just represents that there's a whole life going on. Things that your natural eye don't see. There's a spiritual world going on here. So this is a spiritual connection. This is the things that everybody else won't be able to understand about your connection with your person, Gemini, because you and your person's relationship is a spiritual soulmate relationship. And people are going to be looking at this relationship like, what they what they doing? They surely they ain't that in love. Damn, they 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 complete each other. Some they they just they act like I mean they just so fit for each other. How can this be? This is weird. This is why this moon card is here. Is because everything about your relationship, Gemini, is spiritual. Whoo, Gemini, I'm telling you, this is amazing energy. This is the most spiritual soulmate connection I have ever seen in a spread. So whatever, whoever this person is, this person feels you. You guys are, you guys are sharing the same spirit. Do you see me? You, you, you guys are just, this is your soulmate and you guys have the pleasure of experiencing a human experience with your soulmate here on earth is what I see. It's like you made the contract, and then when you made it down here to earth, you're like, damn, we, we met each other. Bam, we met each other. And it's like you guys are living in this, aha, uh -huh, we got a joke. We got a secret. We know something y'all don't know. This, this is the energy that you're in, and you don't even have to say it to each other. It's the energy that you're in. You guys have a hell of a uh, spiritual secret that no one else knows, Gemini. <laughs> oh, my God, Gemini. I, I tell you, your reading was... I actually had to meditate on your energy because it was just so like, like I'm, I'm just like, I'm bouncing now because it's like, it's such a spiritual energy with these cards and the, they're major. And this relationship with the soulmate is absolutely amazing. Gemini, Gemini, this has been your reading for you. How does your person view you, Gemini? So if this video resonates with you, Gemini, please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.